All right, welcome everybody. This is uh, Dan Hunt with our JSK Virtual Dojo for the 23rd of June. And uh, we're gonna start off today with uh, Mark Rotzel doing a couple of uh, combinations that he uh, uh, either liked or has put together. And then uh, after that, we are going to focus on hand and arm techniques. And not all of them are gonna be kind of mainstream stuff that we normally do. Uh, some of them are gonna be from katas that we don't normally participate in that often. And then, uh, and then the last half of the class is going to be finishing up our uh, uh, Kankudai. And I know some people came on, on Saturday to uh, finish it up with us, but we're gonna repeat the Saturday portion of it and then uh, go through it uh, in completion. And at the end, uh, Mark uh, has a few things he needs to say to everybody. And uh, Mark's got his beard off now, so we should be able to see his lips move. Right, yeah. So I shaved off my beard and also I got a haircut. So oh, thank nice. You. Nice. So. <laughs> Look, looking a little bit more respectable. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me make you the featured speaker. Okay. All right, everybody else go on mute, please. Perfect. Okay, good. The focus for me for the next 10 minutes is on hip rotation. Um, I have several exercises which I would like to do. The first one is to loosen our hips a bit. So we stand shoulder width, one leg in the front, and we just swing our hips. Pay attention that your hips are getting loose. That means don't tighten them up. Make them swing easily back and front. We have the left leg in the front. So one, two, three, and yeah, okay? And one, two, three, and yeah, One, two, three, and punch. Pay attention that your front knee doesn't fall in when you turn your hips backwards. Same with your rear knee, that it doesn't fall outwards. So the knees should stay the same, only your hips rotate. Okay, so let's start again. And punch. One, two, three, and punch. Easy hips. Relax them, punch. One, two, three, and punch. Let's change legs. Right leg in the front. Same game. Loose hips and lock the knees in. One, two, and punch. One, two, three, and punch. Swing your hips. The belt must swing. One, two, three, and punch. Okay, good. Let's stay straight. Shoulder width a, a bit more and make punches 45 degrees into the corner. Yakusuki. Let's start. Turning your hips, straighten them, straight punch. Now take the punching arm, move it to the opposite side, opposite side of the corner, and yaku. Same thing again, and yeah. When you turn, imagine that you sink in a bit, load up your knee, and push it down. So it should not be stiff like this. You should get the feeling you sink in and push out yourself, okay? On my corner. Move your arm and knee. Move your arm, knee. Knee and knee. Each and knee. Each and knee. Each and knee. Good. Now let's change it a bit. I fear a Yaku Soto Oge. It means your left leg in the front, you block with your right arm, and you overturn your hips a bit. Now to the other side of the room. Turn, same thing. Turn, one more, one more, and one more. Good. Now let's combine two techniques here. Make a Kizami Suki, open your hips, and a Gyaku Suki. Now we rotate to the other side with the Gyaku Soto Oka, which we just did before. 
and Kisami. Open your hips. Same arm, Sotoruke, and Kisami. Keep in mind to open and close your hips. So, Sotoruke, hips are closed, and open them. Sotoruke, and Kisami. Let's do it on one count. Bam, bam, okay? Eat. Ni, San, Si, and Go. Okay, let's add one more technique here. Koto, okay? Kisami, with the front leg, Yoko Geri Kikomi, and Kisami. So again, other side, Soto, okay? Kisami, Yoko Gary, Yako. Yoko Gary, Kisami, Yoko Gary, Yako. Let's make it on two counts. First two, technique on one, and the second two on one, okay? So each, one, one, knee. Each, and knee. Each, and knee. Each, and knee. Let's make all four techniques on one count. Okay? All on one count. Each, knee, one, knee, And go. And yummy. Important here, the hip movement. Soto okay, closed hips, open hips. Look again, and then push with your hips, and in again. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Right, is that all you had? Do you have another one? Yeah, I do have one more. Okay, we got time. Three more minutes. So, now let's do something more for Kihon. We start in a standing position. We go deep. One leg four. Idea is to get downward block. Same thing again, move your hips. It means go down, stay straight, move your foot to the front, not straight, a little bit straight and then outward because we need to get the width of our hips. So go down, move it forward, open your hips, yaku. Then pull back, same now with the other leg, forward, straight, straight, and out and turn your hips in the last minute just before your foot touches the ground. Yaku. Back and out. Bam, bam. Back, out. Open your hips, Cl close it. Pay attention to your knees. Front knee, don't let it fall in. Rear knee, don't let it fall out. The knees stay, your hips turns. Again, let's do it in one count. Bam, bam. And it. And back. Knee. And back. Done. Back. And chi. And back. Okay, good. That's it from my side. Any questions or comments? Oh, that was very good. Thank you, Mark. Good. My pleasure. All right, let's see if we had any last minute ads. Okay, Pete, welcome, Mary and Elliot. Good to see you. Elliot, missed you on Saturday. I know, I slept in too much. Oh, boy. All right. 
Okay, so uh, the next section is about doing hand or arm techniques. And then we'll probably move this into uh, doing uh, kicking techniques in another day. So today's uh, arm techniques uh, not only involve the fist, but also the forearm um, and the palm and the fingers. So there's a lot of different ways to, to go after vital points and so on with, with the hands and the arms. So the first one, as, as you might imagine, is just a straight up oitsuki, okay? So we're gonna do uh, three forward and three backwards. So I'm out, go it. My left leg downward block, come on. Hey. Okay, Jodan Oitsuke, lunging punch. Itch, bend into that front knee. Knee, some, backwards. Itch, knee, some. Now, Chudan, itch, knee, some, backwards. Itch, knee. Um, okay, so the next one is Ippon Ken. So middle finger, tucking the knuckles of the other ones in and around it, having it stick out. Okay, Ippon Ken. You can also do it this way with your thumb tucked in here. We're gonna start with this one and then we'll change to this one on the second one. Okay, so same, same thought. So left leg forward, Ippon Ken, the middle finger, or middle knuckle. Itch, knee, thumb. Backwards, same thing. Itch, knee, thumb. I change the first knuckle, tuck that thumb into the, the crack of the finger right there and push it against this finger here. All right, here we go. Itch, knee, thumb. Ushiro, itch, knee, thumb. Okay, so next, marote uke. So a lot of times we do marote uke like we're swinging it. Okay, what I want you to do this time, instead of swinging, is I want you to smash downward with your current front side hand and then come in with a punch upward with the new front hand. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Okay, so we're, what we're think, doing with that is picturing somebody's got you by the collar or reaching behind your neck. You're gonna come down their arm and uppercut to the, to the face. Okay, so left leg forward. So right arm's gonna come down first. Left arm's gonna go into the face. Itch. Knee. Thumb. Hey, backwards. Itch. Knee. Thumb. Okay, so now let's try it with the other way. Let's try it with left hand first, right hand. Do it with the front arm, front leg arm. Itch, knee, thumb, backwards. Itch, knee, thumb. All right, so that's a way to do marote uke. Okay, now I want you to do that same on the top, but this time with marote uke, bring it from the side and strike sideways. So you're gonna hit with this part of your hand into their neck or, or uh, area underneath their, their uh, ear. Okay, so same thing applies. Come over the top of it. Sorry, come over the top of it with your current front hand, cross, and this one. Okay, left leg forward. Itch, knee, thumb. Okay, again, itch, knee, thumb. All right, very good, very good. All right, so the next one we have is just a shuto attack. So what I want you to think about is lock with this hand, 
strike with this one. Make this one come from the top down, pull down into your lat, and think like you're hitting their neck. So picture somebody punching at your face here, taking it, and then making making the shuto to their neck. All right, so left leg forward. We do back stance with this shuto. So block first with the backside hand, and then that same hand does the shuto block. Pitch. Knee. Um, drop weight. Itch. Knee. Um. Good. All right, let's do that again. This time I want you to think about blocking with the front side hand as this goes over the top. Okay, so your current front side hand, I want you to think that one is the block. This one here is the get ready to go here. Okay, here we go. Itch. Knee. Thumb. Okay, going backwards. So current front side hand goes here, other half side goes on top. Itch. Knee. Thumb. All right, nice. So that's shuto used in the side of the neck. All right. You can also make this an elbow attack too, if you wanted to, then extend it after that. All right. So one you don't see very often, and it uh, it comes from uh, makyo, I think, is two fingers into the eye sockets. Okay. So the fingers come from down here, they come up here and up and over and into the eye sockets, like that, okay? This is called Nihon Nukite, two fingers, knife hand strike. Okay, so from here, left leg forward. So backside hand is gonna come up and put that right into his eye sockets. Ready, itch, knee, some, backwards. Itch. Knee. Thumb. All right, good. Now I want you to take that same sort of feeling with a with the fingers out, but I want you to think strike with the thumb into the eye socket. So the thumb, this is really a nukite, but your thumb is going to go in the eye socket. Your hand goes next to their face. Okay? So left leg forward again, think thumb into the eye socket. Itch, knee, thumb. So you could use it as a rake this way or straight in. Okay, going backwards, same thing. Itch, knee, thumb. All right, nice. All right, next one, haito. Okay, haito is the edge ridge hand strike. This is one of Aziz's favorite techniques to use. Uh, tournament folks don't tend to like it because the fingers tend to come toward the eyes if you don't go deep enough. But uh, this is a really nice technique for like striking down into the neck area. So what you wanna do is, this is a regular shoot off fingers, right? Take this thumb and tuck it in and you wanna hit with this side of the hand. This way, come slightly down. Now the other thing you don't want to do is come way out here and do it. So come here, kind of let the elbow flip out and then bring the hand out, kind of comes, it comes around this way. So don't let the arm come way out here because it becomes very visible. Okay, so again left leg forward, do three of these. Ready, itch, my, Knee. My thumb. Come on. Don't forget to tuck that thumb underneath. Again. Itch. Knee. Um. All right. Very good. All right. So in one of the katas we have is uh, is a triple nukite. Okay. It's not really striking in my mind, but others might say differently. My thought is that is I'm either taking his shoulders and quickly twisting him out, or even more brutally is taking the chin and the head and twisting him. 
Okay, so it looks like this. <laughs> so the arms go forward and back, and I'm using these thumbs and fingers to kind of get a grip on his head. Okay, so this is going to be a, a front step, a forward step, and a front stance. We're going to start with the same hand that's going to be matching the front leg. So it's going to be one, two, three. And then come back to Kamai. Now left arm. One, two, three. Come back, right arm. One, two, three. Let's do two more. One, two, three. Switch up. One, two, three. Okay. All right, go backwards. A little quicker. Hitch. Knee. Thumb. In place. She. Go. All right. So these are triple samba nukite. Okay. And then the last one is called washide. Washide is an eagle's beak. Basically, you take your fingers and your thumb and make them all end at the same point. Okay, try that on your own hand, maybe on your arm, and okay, your side of your head. You can feel that, that gets really strong in a hurry and locks up, kind of loads up pretty easily. And it's a nice small area to make a strike with. Okay, and that comes from over the top. So from here, this way. Okay, so starting with left arm, left leg forward. Okay. Right leg stepping forward, right hand doing the washide. Itch, knee, thumb, backwards. Itch, knee, thumb. Let's do that one again. Itch, knee, thumb. Again, backwards. Itch, knee, thumb. Okay, this one I, I kind of see as maybe one that you would hit maybe the back of the neck as, a, as an option. Or maybe if you had access to the bicep, might be a good uh, pressure point strike to the bicep area. All right. All right, so the next one is going to be, uh, and that, by the way, that, that uh, washi day comes from uh, Go to Show Die. I think we've done that. Uh, uh, last summer, actually, in our uh, cut of the month. Okay, so this next one comes from uh, Go to Show Show. Okay, starts with a uh, nekodachi here, look kind of short, and the wrists are up. So we're striking with this part of the wrist. Then we're going to change and shift forward and hit with the bottom side of the wrist and go into a kosadachi, sorry. We're gonna come back into a nekodachi, shift forward, kosadachi. So front leg is now on the ground, back, back foot is up. Here the front foot is up, back foot is on the ground. So wrists up, let me close this door for you. So wrists are up on this one. Okay, front foot is up. We're going to shift forward, kosadachi, strike with the bottom side of the wrist. Knee, itch, knee, thump, chi, go. Here we're going to drop weight going forward. Roko, itch, hach, ku, ju. All right, switch hands, switch legs. Okay, same thing. So now, if everybody's going that way, you're going to have your right leg forward. I'm in your mirror. So, uh, Nekawashi Dutch. Here we go. Itch. Knee. Thumb. Chi. Go. Drop weight. Itchy. Hachi. Ku. Chi. All right, good. Next one is, uh, let's see. So this one, that one comes from Goshio Show. Now a little bit different with Goshio Dai, it uses an Ippon Tsuke. 
So single finger strike. And actually, I think they call it something else. He said he called it a seiru to uche. Seiru to uche. Not sure why. Maybe uh, Masa could help us with seiru to uche a little bit later. Okay, so it's fingers tucked like this. The fingers tucked in this. This one here is tight to your middle in uh, middle finger, and this one here is is expanding your palm. Okay, and so they're going to come up this way. Again, top side of the wrist is doing the blocking, and then from here, we're going to stay in our Nekawashi Dutch as you step forward. So you're going to heel toe it as you step forward. Two fingers, single, one on each side. Come back, stay in uh, Nekawashi Two, come back, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, front foot should be up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I remember why my left leg always gets uh, tired on that one when we do uh, go to show die. Spent a lot of time on that back leg. Okay, now this time other leg. Okay, go from here in the Kosada or uh, Nekwashi Dutch. So you're going to stay in Nekwashi Dutch. Watch. Heel, toe, come up. Put the back foot down and then strike two, two fingers in. Ready? Itch, knee. 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 All right, good. All right, so next one we have is a gyakushuto. So backside arm. So left leg forward, backside, like in Heian Yonda. Okay, and then we're going to step forward, bring the arm this way, shuto, regular shuto out the front arm. So gyakushuto, shuto into the head. Let's do three of these. Shoot though, switch it up, shoot though. So going backwards, first one is in place. One and two. One and two. One and two. All right, so let's go those two together, all one count, and uh, move it a little quicker. Here we go. Hitch. Knee, thumb, Ushiro, itch, knee, thumb. All right, very good. All right, so moving right along. Next one in Kibarachi. We've got three different ones in Kibarachi I want to do. One, the first one is a Teitsui, hitting with the bottom part of the fist kind of sideways, okay? So hitting this way, coming from here, big draw hand and out, okay? So kibarachi, let's everybody face this way, kibarachi, okay? Everybody have your left leg forward. And okay, we're gonna step through, cover, and hammer fist. Knee. Um, she backwards. It's knee. Um, she. Okay, so the next one, show or a taisho. Taisho is palm heel. So hitting with this part of your hand, and I want you to come slightly from the outside to the inside and slightly up into the rib area, taking the ribs on a diagonal rather than just in. Okay, if you take them straight in, ribs are meant to bend this way, not so much this way. Okay, probably the worst break I had in my ribs is 
when somebody kicked me with a, a halfway Mawashi Giddy and went straight up, broke my rib. I think uh, Mr. Boucher's book demonstrated a nice Mawashi Giddy to the ribs too. Okay, so from this, Taisho. So we're gonna take the same step forward, palm heel. Itch, backside hand is in a fist. As you move forward, turn the hand over, knee. Grab it, some, she. Going backwards, so we're gonna grab it as you step backwards. Itch, knee, some, she. All right, nice. Now, that one comes from uh, uh, Gion, so does this next one. Okay, so it's called a Gaiwan Otoshi Uchiuke. Gaiwan Otoshi Uchiuke. So what we do with that one, front hand comes up like you're catching their big monster swing. The other hand comes up in a rising block. So I'm with the leg. And then I'm gonna come down with this part of the forearm on a 45 degree angle and turn the wrist a little bit too. Okay, so from here, the front arm goes up like you're catching their big swing. Go up, rising block underneath their chin. Hammer fist down. So the forearm is doing most of the work. Okay, reach up, front hand, up and down. Front hand, up and down. Okay, let's turn the other way, down block. Do that again. Itch. Knee. Um. Chi. All right, good. Now, the last one I want to do is a Tetsui going from top to bottom. So from here, I want to push the head down and here. Hammer fist this way. Okay, so think of this as coming kind of onto the back of the neck. All right, so step forward, left leg. There we go. Itch. Knee. Some. She. All right, backwards. So hand that's out is going to do the next work. Itch. Knee. Some. She. All right, good. Does that look like this? Kind of. All right, so don't be so rigid in kata just because it looks like this in the kata doesn't mean it can't be this it's just saying use two hands so you can have all sorts of different ways to use the two hands in that okay let's take a short break um i'll open up any questions while we're doing that you want to ask a question Go ahead, I'm here if you got a question. On the um, sensei, on the hammer, on that uh, hammer fist that's coming down, so the first hand is grabbing, yep. and then coming up and down, would you still be holding on to an arm or something? What, what would you be coming to, hitting down on? No, I think I'm, gra I'm, I'm focusing on maybe grabbing the back of his head. Okay. So I'm pulling that, and then once I get to there, I'm gonna either come down on his on his spine or onto the back of his neck. So I'm positioning his head this way so I got something to hit. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Hey Mr. Boucher, quick question. Yes, sir. On your first day in Japan, did you get uh, sing with a mawashi gary in the ribs, or was it a maigiri? It was a, if I remember right, it was a mawashi gary. Come yeah, on, maybe guessing. Maybe yeah, because those, yeah. like I say, the maigiri is more more straight. Mawashi gary kind of comes up on an angle a little bit, and it just comes yeah. up that way, and it breaks that floating rib. Was it floating oh. rib or the first rib? 
Uh, first second. one up. Okay. Yeah, second one up. Yeah. yeah, they don't like to move up. They like to move in and out. They move forward. <laughs> yes, yes. Not good. All right, good. All right, I think, Mary, you bought his book, right? Yes, I did. All right. Oh, well, thank you very much, Mary. Yeah, no problem. I think uh, Sensei, Sensei Baird also uh, purchased the Kindle version of it. Oh, thank you, Sensei. Appreciate that. Yeah, I don't think he's on right now, but uh, I think he saw you the other day. All right. Yeah. So, uh, Let's do some uh, Kankudai. So let's refresh the first half and then we'll finish up the second half. Uh, for those of you who've been through it, uh, let's try and get a little bit more detail on, uh, on what you're doing. Okay. So, well, us, joy. Remember, hands like this, making a triangle. Itch. Knee. Bring your hands, right hand in the left. Two shoot those, one, two. Nice and high, elbow even with the armpit. Left arm underneath, pitch. Punch in place, bring the right hand back, uchu kick. Punch in place, uchu kick. Like a hand, knee on, take a half step up, stack the hands, right on top of left. Side snap kick, back to the shoot those. Just like a hand knee. Again, just like hand knee on, all the way to the top of hand knee on. Itch, knee, nukite sam. Ready? From here, drop the left, raise the right, shoot the to the neck. Okay, my giddy, change directions. High low block, strike the groin, cover the face, and then tear the foam block in doing a down block as you bring your feet up. Have an L stance, left leg forward. Repeat, shoot the to the neck, kick, high low block, strike the groin, tear the front block down block. Okay, so the next four moves are like hand yonda. Difference is there is no adjust on the one coming back. So the first one stack the hand, side snap kick, elbow. No adjust, just change your body and your hip. One. Again, two. Okay. Now the four shoot those. Just pivot. One, like a hand show it on. Two, three, four. Okay, that's the first half. Anybody still struggling with the first half? Marcus, Elliot, you good? Okay, yeah. Marcus is uh, good. All right. Yeah, I'm good. Eric, you got that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think, uh, let's see, who else do we have? Pete, you all right with that? No, this is Linda Danielson and Laura Wolf from oh. from um, Illinois. Oh, okay. Are you listed <laughs> as Pete then? Pardon? Are you listed as Pete? No, I'm, I'm on we too. Do, okay, we Pete know, is on. We don't know anything about all we know is uh, the instructions. So we're kind of, can you see us? I can now barely. So, all right, okay. so follow, follow along best you can, okay? Okay. Okay, when does the class officially start? Six? Yeah, well, it's it's already started at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, you go ahead and do your thing, and we'll, we're going to keep going. All right, put yourself on mute, please. Get your mute. All right, here we go. All right, so, Kankudai, let's do the first half and then we'll add to it, all right? Yoy, Kankudai, pitch. Knees on high, high. Left arm underneath. Punch, Uchuke, punch, Uchuke. Stack the hands, half step up. Side snap kick, shoot them, pitch. Just like in the hand, you know, some. Ready? Drop the left, strike the right with the neck. Itch my giddy. High low the other way. Strike the groin, tear the phone book, down block. Itch, shoot the, 
Okay. High low block, strike the groin. The other palm block, down block. Back the hands, side snap kick, elbow. Again, other way. Pivot, chuto. 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 All right, so if you've got your back to me, turn around here. So the next one is just like we did earlier. Strike the neck. But instead of kick and turn around the other way, we're going to kick and do like in hand yonda with a back fist in kosadachi. Okay? And then step back one, two, three. So everybody with the left leg forward, shoot the block in a 45 degree. Strike the neck. Kick my giddy. Up. Back fist. Uchuke. Punch. Punch. And back to the shito. Shito to the neck. Kick. Kosadachi. Back fist. Uchiuke. Punch. Punch. Okay, from there, we're going to reach behind ourselves like somebody's somebody's punching at us. We're going to try and catch that big, big swing catch. So I'm going to, it's not like I'm going that way with it. I'm going to big swing catch. And I'm going to hit with the forearm smash and put my knee up into their chest. And then I'm going to punch up, drop down. And my hands are like, you know, as if I'm getting ready to run a race. My hands are sideways, thumb and index and middle finger touching the ground. Okay, so think of this as I've hit him in the head. His head goes backwards this way. And then what I do is I go in and grab in behind his legs, push him down with either my shoulder or my head and pull on it, okay? So from here, uh, one, two, three. So catch with the left, smash to the forearm, bring your knee up, okay? Punch up to the chin, drop down. And go back to the shoot though this way. Strike the neck. One. Kick. And down a kosadachi back uh, kills uh, back fist. Uchiuke punch punch. Catch with the left. Smash with the right. Punch up and then down. Okay. And this punch up could be as e as simple as just hitting him in the chin, or it could be as much as twist the head or twist the upper body to get him kind of this way while you're coming in be underneath. So it could be another way to help unbalance him a little bit more, or maybe take the head more like this so it makes it a little bit easier to knock him over. Okay, so back to the borshutos. This is a borshuto pitch, kick. Swing forward, back fist, uchiuke, punch, punch, catch, smash, punch up, drop. Now from here, I want you to take and turn all the way to the front, or all the way to the back, sorry. Open-handed, down block, left hand, and your right elbow is forward of your, uh, uh, or right about where your uh, hip joint would be. Okay, so this this hand is not way back here. It's more forward of your body line. Okay, and one more shoot though. Okay, so let's go back to uh, Kosadachi back fist, facing the back of the room. Okay, so Uchuke punch punch, catch, smash, hand goes up, drop. Low shoot the block, and then one more shoot the block. Okay, so let's start the sequence from, let's see. Let's do it from the last one going that way. Okay, so going going forward in, in, uh, in the contest. So shoot the straight, my giddy, split, strike the groin, Tear the foam book. Stack up the hands. Side snap kick, like a hand going up. Repeat, stack the 
hand, side snap kick, elbow. Shoot toe block. 45, or now 45, shoot toe. One more shoot toe, just like a hand shoulder. Shoot toe. Now strike the neck. Step forward, or kick my giddy. Back fist. Underarm block, punch, punch. Catch with the left. Smash. Punch up. Sink down. Low. Down block with an open hand. One more shoot. Now turning with your back leg, underarm block, reverse punch. One, two. Underarm block, reverse punch, and jab. Okay. Now hand, knee down again, squeeze it in. Stack the hands, shoot up. And Okay, so from the, let's go from the low down blocks. Left leg forward. Shoot toe forward, itch. Underarm block, turn, reverse punch. Underarm block, punch, punch. No adjust. Stack the hands, side snap kick, shoot toe. And. All right, so let's go from the beginning. Any questions so far where we're at? Other than, yeah, it's a long way from the beginning. Sensei? Yes. Uh, those migaries, um, in, the, in some of the videos I've seen, they're almost Jodan level right underneath the tips of the fingers. Are those like chest level or are those OB hit level? I, I tend to like them Jodan level, but uh, you know, you could, you could argue they could be, they could be chin and neck, but uh, I would think if I'm hitting here, his head's gonna go this way, which is saying kick me in the groin or kick me in the belly. So I um, mean he's kind of gonna be presenting that to you as you hit him this way. His head's gonna go this way, which means all this becomes open. So I think, I think it would tend to want to be chewed on. Uh, don't forget too, a lot of those guys are trying to impress the judges with their flexibility. So it's kind of like uh, the uh, side thrust kicks in uh, Niju Shiho. Okay, so it's here. Niju Shiho, the old Niju Shiho was just this. Okay, not even, not even a side thrust kick. It was just a lift up and stomp. And then all of a sudden, one of the guys, uh, I think it was a side, did him like up here into the jaw, into the jaw level. And now everybody had to do it extra high, or else you got marked down. Us. Okay, does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Okay, anybody else? All right, let's go. Plus, all right, could I? Boy, all right. And hands, make a triangle. Pitch, knee. Right hand in the left. Pitch, um, left hand underneath. Punch, Pitch, uchi. Stack the hands, half step. Pitch, hand, knee down. Knee, thumb, ready? Break the neck. Pitch, kick, high low, strike the groin, and tear the foam. Pitch, knee, thumb, Stack the hands, side snap kick, elbow. No adjustment. Stack the hands, side snap kick, elbow, shoot go. 45. Itch, knee. Shoot go to the neck. Kick, and forward. Back fist. Underarm block, punch, punch. Catch, smash, punch up, down. Shoot to the low, open hands. Shoot go regularly. Uchiuki, reverse punch. Uchiuki, punch, punch. Stack the hands, side snap, shoot them. Nuki te. Okay, so from there, from the Nuki te, and hand Nita, our hand Sandan, we bring our hand in here to take the guy over and bend him over. From this one, we're going to take him over the top this way. 
back fist. Okay, so the arm goes over the top and by our right ear, like you're going to talk on the phone. So here, bring the hand over the top and back fist. And then that Tetsui that we did earlier, that's, that's the technique after that. Okay, so let's see. Yukite this way, right leg forward, bring the right hand up, back fist, kimonach, cover, tetsu. So hammer fist. Now, just like in here, our techie showdown. So this is elbow, drop the hands, stack the hands, down block. Okay, so go back to the tetsui, elbow, stack the hands, down block. One more, take two, one, two, three. Again, take two, one, two, three. Okay, so let's go back to the nukite, the covered nukite. Ready? Hand up by the ear, itch, back fist, take two, then one, two, three. Okay, somebody's not on mute. If you could check yourself, appreciate it. Okay, so the next technique from this down block, I'm gonna take my left hand and raise it up like I'm gonna do a rising block, okay? It's like this. And then what I want to do, actually I'll do it this way. What I wanna do is I want to take and change my hands. Think of it grabbing his leg, grabbing his shoulder or head and turning him upside down, okay? So the palm, is going to be up, and my other hand is going to be up in a rising block position, and then I'm going to come down on the inside of this, and then I'm going to go up with a jujuki high open hands. Okay, so it looks like this from here. So the down block here, I'm going to take my left arm and bring it up, lift, change my hands. So now my right arm is up, left hand is palm up, tight fist, punch behind it, sink, and then go up. Okay, let's do that one again from a down block. Right leg going toward the back of the room. Raise your left hand. Take and raise your left leg or through the middle. Change your hands. So now right hand is high. Punch behind your left hand and then come up. Okay, so let's go back to the nukite. Okay, from here, bring it to your ear, back fist, hammer fist. One, two, three. Left hand comes up. Switch, punch behind, and then come up. Okay, be careful when you come down this way, you don't get too bent over. Okay, it still needs to kind of come more straight. The more you get bent over, they grab a hold of you. Now you're easily taken down. So you want to be able to sink down, maybe even a in a uh, uh, oh goodness, not really a kibodachi, but a uh, no, I think of it where your feet are out this way. Okay, so not quite there, but this one here is a, is a kibodachi in the kata, so keep your body posture tall, okay? All right, so back to the nikite, one more time, right leg forward, okay? Bring it to your ear, back fist, hammer fist. Elbow, stack the hands, down block. Left hand comes up, switch your hands. Punch behind, head up, okay? Next one, so you're gonna step out toward the front of the room, but we're going to end up facing the back of the room. Straight, feet together, then step back with your left, bring your hands down. Think of you got your, their arm and you're bringing it over there, over your shoulder. Okay. Now the next one is a Nitobi Gary, so it's two my giddies. One, two, back fist. So you stay forward with your right leg. Okay, shoot the left arm underneath. Step through and deep. Fireman's carry. 
and finish with the yoke. Okay, so let's see. Let's go back to the Tetsui. Elbow, down block, or stack the hands, down block. Raise your left, switch. Punch behind, come up. Pivot, step back with your left. Bring your hands down to butt, chin level. Knee Toby Gary, double kick, back fist. Okay, shoot the left underneath as you step through. Make it big and a yoga. Oh. That's a whole cut, huh? We got about five minutes. I think we can probably go through this maybe three more times. Does anybody have any questions on the end of that? Nope. All right. No, I, I have some questions, but I got to work it out first before I can ask them. I was doing pretty good up to the very last part, but I, I, I got to work through it a couple. All right. Well, you'll get a copy of the video today, so you can go over and and over and and over and and over it. And then if you're still not clear, give me a call and we'll, uh, we'll work it out. Okay. Okay, here we go. From the beginning. Close. I'm good at it. Come on. Pitch. Knee song. Um. She go. Front pitch. Pitch. Knee song. Pitch. Knee. Yuki day song. Pitch. Knee song. She. Go. Pitch. Knee. Thumb. She. Go. Pitch. Hang on your under. Knee. Again, show it on. Pitch. Knee. Thumb. She. And your under. Pitch. One, two, three. Catch with the left. Smash. Punch up, think. Low shooto. Regular shooto. Uchuki reverse punch. Uchuki punch punch. Stack the hands, hand meter. Nuki take. Over the top, back fist, hammer fist. Like in Teki Shodan. One, two, three. Left hand up. Switch. Punch behind. Me, some knee over here. Itch, right. left underneath. And plus, Whew. all the way through. Is that a good pace? Anybody uh, want me to go slower? No, okay. I, I thought I liked that pace too. We'll keep, we'll keep it at that pace for this next one, and then we'll uh, we'll go a little bit quicker. So the two key eyes, first Nukite, and then the Nitobi Gary in the air is the uh, is the uh, um, second key eye, and the the stance I was trying to think of was called Shiko Dutch where your feet are 45 degrees and you can go down a lot lower. Notice my back here can be here, but if I go here with my feet in, that's about as far as I can go without breaking my back, uh, hips. So Shiko Dutch, I can get almost parallel to the ground. You notice a lot of the Gojiru folks do that Shiko Dutch, and it's amazing how strong their legs are staying that low. Okay, time could I one time slow again and then we'll then we'll bust it up. Yo. Come on. Itch. Knee. Squeeze. Something. Go. Punch. Itch. Knee. 
pump G go ki a H ni sum H ni sum I can hand you on the H ni sum hand show that ni go rock H hand you on the ni which you gave punch punch catch smash punch drop low shoot though regular shoot though which you give punch which you give to punch stack it up side snap shoot though you can take over the top hammer fist or back fist hammer fist elbow down down one Left hand high, pitch, switch, knee behind, and go up. Change directions, hold on. Knee to be Gary. Ready? Back fist. Left underneath, scoop it, and down. Okay, last chance for a good question, and then we're gonna bust it out. Anybody? Okay, Mark, I haven't forgot. Basically, actually, I'd like you to go look up if it's this or this on this one. So go look it up. Tell me what you find. Okay. All right. Last time, full speed. Was well, Come on. Right. Pitch. Knees up, bitch. Knees up, she go. Bitch, knee, some, hey. Bitch, knee, some, she. Oh. Bitch, knee, some, she. Oh. Bitch, bitch, knee, some, she. Go. Pitch hatch. Pitch. Knee. Pitch. Knee some. Go rock pitch. Pitch. Knee. No. She. Go rock hitch. Pitch. Knee some. She. Go. Hey. Come in. And well, us. That one uses a lot of oxygen, eh? All right. Any comments? No, I think I just got to work out which way to turn. I'm getting, I'm turning the wrong way in one of those, and I'm ended up on the wrong side. But I got to watch the tape again, and I'll figure that out. Okay. All right. Uh, so. Mr. Rotzel has asked for a few moments at the end of the session. So I'm gonna end the session with the recording, but uh, he'd like to say a few words here. So hold on a second. See you all. Hey, there's a good chance that Saturday is gonna be a, a Zoom class based on the weather. But again, they don't know. I wish I could have a job like that where they were never right. But uh, if it looks like it's gonna stay that way, we'll do Zoom class. 10 to 11 again. Eastern Standard Time, Linda. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yep. All right, hang on just a second here.